Welcome back to We Ride Motos. This is episode three yes, of so. uh, the Italian trip. Mm -hmm. So this episode was, well, the pictures were filmed in 2022 mm -hmm. and it is now 2024. Yeah. So anyway. We're making do with what we have. <laughs> yes. We apologize early. <laughs> yeah. uh, so anyways, he's Glenn and I'm Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> We are exploring in this episode Matera. Uh, we do Matera, Calvanico, yeah. and Pompeii. There's a voice that keeps on calling me. Down the road, it's where I'll always be. Every stop I make, I make a new friend. Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on We left Allo... I never can say this word Allo... Albero Bella Bello. Bello. You can never say that word. <laughs> word. And, uh, and we came to Matera, and Matera has uh, a long history. Yes, it's an actually really amazing. Shelly had scouted this out ahead of time, and thank goodness it was amazing. It has It's one of the oldest continually occupied places on Earth. I think maybe the third oldest. They've had human occupation there since for like 10,000 years, I believe, they they have found evidence of, mm. which... And a James Bond movie was filmed there, so... Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's what I went for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we had a little villa just outside of the old town, which was perfect, because we had a good little courtyard for the bikes to park in, and I think the boys, you guys did some work on the bikes while we yep. were there that first day, and... We didn't go into the old town, I think it, they call it the Sassy. That day we did end up having our supper overlooking it and as the sun went down and the lights came on, it was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, they really do that town up. It's pretty cool in the evening. Yeah. I would say, honestly, I think it's nicer in the evening than during the day. Yeah. It really has a character to it. It was really pretty. It yeah. made us very excited to be able to go exploring the next day. Um, so the next day we got up early and uh, we're excited to go down and, and check it out. It was it, it it was really cool. And in the it's kind of in a valley, I guess. So it has all these cliffs along the side, which is where the first people that lived there lived. They carved their caves into the cliffs. I think there's like 1,500 of them in all in this area. Um, some of them are quite extensive. We didn't actually get a chance to go explore that side of the valley because we only had one day, but yeah. so, but we could see them all over. If you had a good day, you could hike, not terribly long hike down, cross yeah. them back up the other side. Yeah. I think you could drive around. Yeah, if we had another day, we definitely would have done that. But uh, but the actual city part was really amazing too. So And there was a lot of cliff dwellings in there, but people had kind of built walls out to enclose the actual cliff part. And the James Bond movie <laughs> was, filmed was filmed there. there. <laughs> but it's the one where he goes up the, I, I, I don't know the name of it, but he went whipping up this thing and then he hits a jump and he flies up and he, over a wall and he lands in a courtyard by in front of the church. It's No Time to Die was the... Is that the movie? Yeah, oh, that there was you the go. movie. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. We were there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The streets just went everywhere. You couldn't drive on them. They were mostly walking, just driving down below. And But some of them, you remember the steps and they had put yeah. in the concrete. Yeah. So I guess you could drive your car or the motorbike. I don't know who was thing. driving up those things. It's yeah. basically a set of stairs, Hopefully. old cobbled stairs with concrete blobbed in. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be riding up or down that. I just loved every corner you come across another little surprise so it it had lots of little little things to find and explore and we really only touched the surface of it
one museum that we went into, I think this me and Shelley went into it, um, and they had recreated the cave like it would have been inhabited at the time. Very small, like big families were raised in these caves, and along with the families was actually their animals. They had chick chickens in there. They had treasure. I know, cows or horses lived in the cave with them. And wow, they weren't very big, so it would it would have been a real I can see I can see the sanitation problems for sure. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of dolly sculptures which was kind of interesting um, so we did run across a few of those um, those are those weird elongated elephants and stuff there was a space elephant and i think there was a clock that was kind of melting day we we laughed and of course because we have a James Bond fan here there was a bridge that actually part of this No Time to Die was filmed at just I think I don't know 20 minutes away so we went to check that out yep uh, we we finally found it it took us a bit of um, like driving around to find it but I think as that we, was where the tractor tried to run us over wasn't it yeah we yeah, were in a real farming area I think me and Mike were the only ones that walked, actually walked across the bridge. I, I was conserving my energy. I couldn't believe they wouldn't want to walk across the ancient Roman bridge. Once we had finished up at Matera, we headed to a place called Calvanico. And again, we're kind of on Mike and Shelley's coattails on this. They'd sort of done all the, the work and we just jumped in and followed mm -hmm. them around. It found this uh, neat little town and a great big villa and yeah. ton, had all kinds of bedrooms. So yeah, it was just, big courtyard that we could yeah, everything. It just felt like we were in a, this beautiful Italian villa. It was but no grocery stores in that town. Just oh, those, yeah, but, they had those little. There was a grocery store just down the way. Yeah. Yeah, but but we didn't 10 always ten by ten grocery. We store. didn't always know what we were buying. We didn't buying. always know when they were open. We came back the one oh, time. That's and where we came back and thought we wanted salt or we bought a big block of sh No, we wanted coffee. Your coffee. And that I, was you and Mike was yeah, in charge of the coffee. Picked it out, came back. It's like, oh, I got the coffee and opened it up and it was a big block of sugar. <laughs> and in the villa, there, there was already like three bags of sugar. So oh, I think, I think, think it's other a common mistake. I think other people made the same mistake. Yeah. And then, well, the shape, they're packaged, they're seal packed exactly yeah. the same. And then we wanted some butter. So in the freezer oh, yeah. there was these little packs of butter and butter. They, the perfect size we thought that's perfect and i go to open it that night to put on whatever we were using and it was brown and i thought oh my goodness what happened was, to the butter was that yeast it was uh. some kind of yeast <laughs>
When you go to Europe, oh, yeah. get used to having no idea what you're gonna buy or eat half the time, unless you speak the language, which we don't. It was comical if we had a and good laugh. Over don't that. count on Google Translate to save you. It had a beautiful yard. It had a hammock. It had nice lounge chairs. So cats. We, and we had our our cat. He was our friend the whole time we were there. I mean, it did help that Shelly was feeding him. <laughs> yes. Funny how many cats you have when you feed them. Um. But it was, yeah, it was a great yard. Yep. They, they had all sorts of different fruit trees. The one that was um, ripe at the time we were there was the fig tree. So I actually had, yeah, he didn't like the fresh figs. I tree. like figs when they're yeah. dried. But I loved them. They were really good. They're kind of gooey. They're all sticky. Yeah, and, they're sticky ugh. and gooey, but oh man, they were sure good. Well, we were using Calvanico as a, I guess a jump off point mm -hmm. to Pompeii. Yeah. So we stayed overnight. But Pompeii was was interesting. Well, before you get started, what I'm gonna tell you about Pompeii is it's a lot bigger than you yeah, think it is. It like is. there's it's a very spread out. It's it mm -hmm. takes it took us the whole day and yeah. we we did not by any stretch see all of it. No, we certainly didn't. We kinda hit the highlights yeah. and that was it. Yeah, that was really surprising. I was really surprised at how big it was. And the day we were there it was really hot too. Yeah. Um, so it, I guess it gave a good feel of what it would have been like back then. Especially the day that he came yeah, down from the mountain. <laughs> that's right. So I think it was 79 AD when uh, Mount Vesuvius erupted and and covered um, Took it out. Pompeii. Yeah. But it, because of that, it, it really had some interesting art still on the walls of some of the villas. Yeah. Floor mosaics were in great shape. It had a big amphitheater. Huge amphitheater, yeah. But they also had two big half amphitheaters they must have, where they did, I don't know, probably had their or plays or that type of thing. Yeah. They had a big one and a small one. Their debates and stuff. Maybe. Maybe. I think Pompeii was kind of considered like the Vegas of, uh, of the time, right? Yeah. <laughs> what, what happens in Pompeii stays, stays in Pompeii. Pompeii. Yeah, I think that, yeah. Like that happened a lot. Um, but a lot of rich people with big villas were there. Um, but then a lot of just regular shops, lots of shops and lots of, a lot of people actually didn't have kitchens in their homes, so they <laughs> ate out and they had these. Oh, kind of like, still do that. Yeah, well, even to a greater degree. So there was a lot of these little restaurants that were still intact, like they had the, the bar with the, the holes where the vats of food went in. and. Yeah. Yeah, the, they had replanted some of the orchards um, because they had a lot of vineyards there. Wine was a huge, huge thing in that area. And uh, they replanted some of the inner courtyards too in some of the villas, which was kind of interesting to see what it would have looked like. Mm -hmm. They had the famous Beware of the Dog in one of the villas. I think the Tragic Poets Villa. On the way out, all the ladies were stopped taking oh, a picture. Yeah, yeah, so comes. we had to look and see what what has captured their attention. And the wow. giant steel bum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so of course I I did want to miss out, so I got you a couple shots. <laughs> um, it, it was from a Polish artist actually, um, and so 
obviously not from Pompeii times. No, but. no, it wasn't. It was like 2017, I think there was an art exhibit. Uh, he had already passed away, but I think there was a bunch of his sculptures there, but this one stayed. It become yeah. a permanent uh, Pompeii yeah. fixture. Because <laughs> yeah, all the ladies get a couple snaps on the way out. Yeah, that's right. We went to a okay. restaurant. We found a nice little, very cliche kind of Italian restaurant we found up in the town, which is just, oh, up, just up the hill. Remember we had pizza or something there? It was only open on certain days. When you're in these small, <laughs> small towns, you really have to check the restaurant times and stuff because sometimes they're only open a couple days a week. Or, yeah, or like we found in Spain, time. they're always open, but they were never open. Yeah, it's... so so the one evening we did actually go up there, and then on the way back, it was beautiful because it was a full moon. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we walked way up the hill, and they came down, and the, that wedding was yeah. on, and they had all the fireworks had going fireworks off. fireworks, and, and the music was playing. It was really, really kind of cool. Mike was being all romantic, yeah. and him and Shelly were dancing. They were having a little dance. Put me on the spot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that, that, that was a really nice evening in the, in the hotel. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, we, it was a great stay. It yeah. was a neat little town. Anyway, if you like this content and you think the videos are any good, give us a like and subscribe. We do appreciate it. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Where are we going? Um, oh, Salerno. Salerno. Yeah, we're going to check out the Amalfi Coast. And the Amalfi Coast. Yeah. Now there was an adventure. And paste them too also. And we get new tires. And new tires. Hint, hint. <laughs> we'll see you there. <laughs>